Good morning, wonderful people. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to trigger one Lambda from another Lambda in AWS. So I have everything set up here. Uh, so basically, this is my first Lambda. When you trigger this Lambda, this Lambda will trigger this Lambda. Wow, do you want to learn that? If yes, join with me and I'm going to teach you how to do that right from scratch. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, create two Lambdas. Um, I just have a very basic Lambda. Let me show you uh, the code here. All you gotta do guys is basically, you have to say you have to create a client object. First of all, a to three client object, right? We do that. Uh, once you do that, uh, let's say uh, you wanna send some message from one Lambda to another Lambda. Uh, when we design some efficient architecture where we want to do all of these kind of stuff, right? So what, what I did is basically uh, I just called the invoke method uh, on the client or uh, the instance that I created from the Boto3 object. Uh, this takes a function name. The function name is basically the ARN of that function. So if you come up on the top on the second lambda, copy this on the right hand side corner. Uh, invocation type, let's put it for request or response. Um, We'll cover this, we'll touch base upon this in more detail in the future videos. Payload, whatever payload you wanna send, I said hello from Lambda one, that's my payload, and it returns this one, okay? So that's pretty much it, right? So that's one, uh, that's from the Lambda one. In the Lambda two, what I'm doing is just printing that message. So in the console, I should see hello from Lambda one. Now, one interesting thing that I wanna show you is the policy that I was struggling a bit. Uh, so for Lambda one, uh, this is what you wanna do, guys. Let me um, show you from scratch because I had troubles and I actually just learned from Stack Overflow. So I am, come here, okay. Uh, come to the role section, type the name of your Lambda, okay. So in this case, I had it as Lambda one. I'll click on that. Now you see this is my test policy. I added that, right? I did not add this. So what do you have to do? Add inline policy. Uh, yeah. So now here you want to click on the Lambda, okay? Then here, what you want to do in the action, uh, you want to copy, what was that, invoke? Uh, so here you, you want to say invoke function and invoke async. Both of them you want to run. Resource, you want to make sure it's an all resource and review and create a pol review policy. Um, some foo policy, whatever you want to name, right? I'm just showing you, this is what I did. Now here, you want to attach that policy to both the Lambda. If this is not there, it's not going to work, okay? So now if I trigger my Lambda from one, so I get the hello world from this Lambda, which is essentially what I was expecting. Now let's check the Lambda two. This is my Lambda two. I'm going to go to the logs, monitoring, uh, view CloudWatch logs. So now here, I should see the logs from the Lambda one that was sent. Um, you can also do that asynchronously. Like there are a lot of good architectures you can do uh, with these stuff. Um, let's see. So you should see that messages here now. So there you go, uh, Lambda two, we print that and hello from Lambda one. So it's working fine. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, my goal here is to, you know, uh, always teach you guys whatever new I learn every, every week. Um, if you did like my video, kindly do give a like. Um, as usual guys, keep smiling, keep coding, keep practicing, keep working hard. And I would see you guys next time.